Absolutely. Um, here we go. We are recording. All right. We're underway. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our July GSN, Graduate Success Network meeting. Um, I think we're all pretty much family here. We know everybody in the, uh, in the room today. So we're, we're no need to go over any kind of introductions and things of that nature. We're just going to jump right into our program for today. So what do we have slated to discuss? Well, we have a few things to cover. First of which is who among you? Oh, what, what does that mean? I don't, we're about to find out, but who among you? Alexa, who among you? Monica, who among you? Okay, well, we'll find that out in a second. Back to school drives. I know many of you are gearing up for the upcoming school year. Uh, those of you who are uh, seniors and, and juniors, et cetera, you're gearing up for the upcoming school year. We have some back to school drives to share with you. I want you guys to take pictures and represent Bridge to Life and your families and everyone else when you go there. Incentives, many of you have been keeping an eye, a close eye on all of these incentives that we're pushing out. Well, let's make sure we talk about those and understand them. We always talk about it during our workshops, uh, but we wanna give you an opportunity to ask any questions you have. What's on deck? Oh yeah, well, oh yeah, Colleen and I have been busy in the, uh, in the uh, control room getting ready for the upcoming fall year. And then Q and A, so we always wanna give you an opportunity to uh, ask any questions, discuss what's on your mind, et cetera. So let's jump right into it. Who among you? Who among you? So here's what we want to know. Who among you have done any of the following? During our summer program, we, we tried our hardest, and we still have some summer programming left, as you can see the remaining workshops at the bottom, but we've done our best. We've tried our hardest to bring meaningful topics, beneficial resources to you, uh, things that you said you wanted to learn more about, things that Colleen and I have some experience in, but we tapped the shoulders of a few experts, subject matter experts, and I believe, we believe, you believe they delivered. And if they did all that hard work, was it all for not? I don't think so. I think many of you have followed up on some of these items, maybe not all of them, but some of them. So I just wanna openly poll the room today and ask who among you have done one of the following? How many of you have created a LinkedIn profile? And I'll take it a step further. If you created a LinkedIn profile, are you willing to share that with your peers today? We have a few minutes, we, we have some time. Are you willing to share your LinkedIn profile with your peers? Scholarships, how many of you have applied to scholarships? Now you've heard me talk about scholarships all year long. You've heard Shedley Cassius, you've heard Colleen Lockwood, you've heard uh, Dr. Sharf, you've heard so many people, Monique uh, Coker, Coach Mo. How many of you are taking advantage of scholarships and especially, uh, well, anyone that's in high school, but if you graduated from high school, there's still time now. That's right, Darissa, there's still time to apply to scholarships. It never stops. Uh, one of these days, and Colleen, I need to remind myself to invite a former Broward College student, an alumni of Broward College, her name is Alicia Bryan. She is in her junior year of her bachelor's program and recently applied for five scholarships, each totaling $10,000. Now I haven't gotten the results from her, but she's really good at getting money. I tell you, she hasn't paid a single dime since she's been in school. No books, no tuition, no fees, no nothing. So I wanna bring her on to talk about that at some point. And I think she'd be quite fitting for the Graduate Success Network. I just threw that out there, just popped in my head, Colleen. Um, and I wanna um, call out the fact that we have the fabulous, wonderful, stellarly overachieving Haley McTee joining us today. Haley, what's up? And she's getting ready to move on to the University of Central Florida. Haley, have you moved already or are you still down home? No, I'm still here. Um, I do move in about a month, so that is very exciting. And thank you for the introduction, Ms. Lockwood. I have won a few scholarships, so I guess I'm doing okay in that department. <laughs> Haley, thank you so much. You know what, while I'm talking to you, um, Haley, which, how, describe your process of applying for scholarships. And you heard me talk about it a few times, writing those essays, having those things pre-written so that you don't have to spend too much time reinventing the wheel. What was your process like? And just give us an idea, how many hours a week did you spend on scholarships? Let's start with that question first. How many hours a week or a month, whichever one's easier to answer. Yeah. Um... So hours a week, I would probably say um, over the summer, I've definitely had a lot more time to focus on them. So I'd say maybe like two hours every day, but of course not like every single day. So maybe like 
eight hours or so. Haven't thought about the hours. Uh, That's fine. That's fine. I can, I can, I can, I can take that. So between five to 10 hours a week, we'll say it's, a, it's yeah. about how much time you've spent on scholarships. And you said you've won a few scholarships. Um, w would you mind giving us an idea of which one of those scholarships is? You don't have to list them all or the amounts or anything, but just give us an idea of one of the scholarships you want. For sure. Um, yeah, and then also a way that I calculate like how much time I should be spending on scholarships. Oh yes, and definitely ask Chad too, he's all about that. Um, is I imagine like I could either have a job or I could be applying to scholarships. So I kind of look at it like that where scholarships is my job. So I try and do it enough where I'm not like, man, I could be working at like Publix down the road and getting more money, you know, you have to put in enough hours for that it's worth it. And so the one that I want to talk about that I won was the Brooks Law Group Scholarship. So many law firms have scholarships and it's amazing. And this one is open to um, high schoolers, people who are currently in college, and they wanted me to write an essay about the student debt crisis, you know, things that are relevant to students. And I actually learned a lot from it. I kind of enjoy doing that kind of research. So it wasn't too much of a chore for me. I definitely to try and keep an eye out for scholarships where I read the prompt and I'm like, okay, I could actually maybe enjoy writing this because if you're writing about something and you hate writing about it, like it's never gonna be done and it's not gonna be your best work. So that's another determining factor, but Brooks Law Group, if any of you are interested, um, they do, they do it actually twice a year and they have a first and second place winner. So I would 100% recommend that. I'll actually drop a link to it, but that one was really great. And they've been super helpful with the whole um, getting the funds to my school and all that stuff. So I will drop that in, but thank you for letting me share about that. No, thank you. No, Haley, thank you. Um, so that scholarship is paying direct to school, which is awesome. Keep in mind, students, there are scholarships that pay directly to you. Now, they, you won't come across them every day or every time you apply, but they're out there and they're coming from, you know, private donors, private sponsors. So continue searching. Haley's putting in five to 10 hours a week and probably still doing that now. Um, but there are opportunities for you to win scholarships. And as you can see, students, not enough of you are applying to them. So we're trying to push that as much as possible. So creating a LinkedIn account. All right, let me go back to the chat because I think I saw some chatter about LinkedIn. Let's see, did someone say, okay, nope, I didn't see that. I thought someone said that I created a LinkedIn account. So if anyone on here has created a LinkedIn account, which I know someone who has, and I don't wanna call his name, his first name rhymes with mad, uh, last name rhymes with organ. Um, I don't wanna call his name just yet, but um, anyone else that's created a LinkedIn account and that's willing to share, uh, let's do that in a few seconds. FSA ID. So for my upcoming seniors, how many of you have completed or have created your FSA ID? There's been plenty of time to do it. Um, oh, Emily said, I made a LinkedIn account. Okay, Emily, great. Uh, do you have the availability or the option rather to share your screen? Do you want to show us your LinkedIn account? Monica, same goes for you. Uh oh, something just happened to my screen. Yeah, Monica, same goes to you. Anyone that's willing to share, we're gonna give you the option to share now, just so that our other uh, students on the line can see it. I made a LinkedIn account and also recently got advice on how to update it. Awesome, Chad. So Chad, we're gonna save you for the, for the last we'll go round, but I wanna give Emily and Monica an option to share their screen if you're ready. If not, then we'll move on. I can share the link. Okay, cool. Colleen, would you mind clicking on either Emily or Monica's link? And then resharing your screen, please. Or I, actually, I can do it. You don't have to do it. Hang on no, a second. I, mean, uh, I, have power. I can do it. I um, I just made each of them co-hosts, but I will pull it up and we will take a look. Okay. okay. And let me share. And thank you so much for sharing, guys. Whoops. Sorry. All right. So here we have Monica and BLM is at the top. And look at that, Monica Julian. So she has Bridge to Life Social Media Ambassador. That's what I call leveraging your resources. You're using us as a resource and that's why we're here. Thank you, Monica, for doing that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Let's scroll down and we have about a motivated all right, a motivated, passionate, eager student with the intention of being a marketing manager. I'm a hardworking and driven student with goals of flourishing in the marketing field. I will be attending Florida Atlantic University in the fall of 2021. Go Owls. All right, I'm an owl. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's skip. OK, I have held many leadership roles, such as being the vice president of the Youth Leadership Council and the sergeant of arms during an eight week Toastmasters session. Awesome. Go Panthers. Go Panthers. Dillard High School. OK, hang on. Hang on, Monica. You got it. <laughs> we have too much in common. Uh, and then we drop down to her hobbies, club activities and then chords that she's won. So hey, that's right. Go Panthers. So here's the thing. It, let's let's take two seconds to look at this. So she has her hobbies and interests and things listed under about. So a lot of students come to us and say, well, I don't work a job. I don't have a nine to five. Why would I need to create a LinkedIn profile? Well, this is why, because your job is school. Your job is, is education. And your, your other job is to promote what you're working on. So the more you have going on in your life every week, make sure you're documenting it. Make sure you're putting that here. All right, so she also has a few features, a couple edits that she's done, audio edits, Bridge to Life on Instagram. She has that, and then her experience is listed out. Look at this. This is great. Awesome job, Monica. Awesome job. Awesome job. License. She's Adobe Dreamweaver certified. Way to go. And then volunteer experience. Way to go. One more. Member of the Key Club. Thank you so much. my. And she already has 72 connections. Thank you, Colleen, for pointing that out. Way to go. You're building this. And about how long ago did you create your LinkedIn profile, Monica? Um, I don't know exactly, but more than three weeks. In three weeks, you've gained over 70 connections. Way yeah, to go. That's, that's awesome work. news. It's, mm, thank it, you. it takes a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's investment of your time and investment into your future. It's worth it. You're doing a great job. Great job. Okay, so really, I wanted to, all I wanted to show was one, but we have time for another one. Why not? Let's go. Emily, and Emily has shared hers before. Um, great job putting yours together. Student at Broward Virtual Schools. Okay, uh, let's see. Governor, okay, great. We've read her about before. Let's go to her experience. So as you can see, somewhat similar to Monica, uh, she's listing her Key Club experience, Key Club International, uh, Lieutenant Governor. Everything is clearly listed, clearly stated. Club President, Club Secretary. So you see the timeline there on the left. Then she goes into her education uh, when she's going to earn her high school diploma. Uh, been a student since the eighth grade, goes over AP classes. That's another thing you guys can jot down your AP courses, IB if you're an inter, inter, uh, inter baccalaureate program, uh, Broward College talking about the early admissions, dual enrollment, and then volunteer experience. This is great, guys. This is your high school resume, essentially. And then volunteers. Awesome. Awesome. And then last but not least, I told you there was some guy by the name of Chad Jordan. So we're going to look at his really quick. And Chad has added a few images. He's very creative. So he is an overachieving high school senior. Awesome, Chad. Um, and he has 14 connections, and those connections will continue to grow. Uh, Chad goes to his About page. He lists his activities. Post Chad created. Okay, created. And then let's see all activities. Let's click on that uh, right underneath activities, Colleen, if you don't mind. Boom, it goes into his experience. And then again, you see the timeline, International Mar Maritime Organization, video editing, video editing. This is great stuff. So guys, again, you have taken the legwork, you've done the, the extra step, you've gone the extra mile of creating a LinkedIn profile. And this is what we wanted you to do. We're glad to see this. I encourage, Colleen and I encourage everyone to create your LinkedIn profile. Just work at it, practice it. We're here if you have questions and we have subject matter experts that you can connect with as well. Colleen, was there something you wanted to add? Um, I just think, you know, Chad, uh, just don't forget to brag loud and proud. For example, this IMO video that Chad produced for International Maritime to celebrate International Seafarers Day on June 25th has now been viewed over 42,000 times on Facebook. I mean, that's a worthy metric Men, you know, worth mentioning. Um, it's, you know, it's been viewed on YouTube and other platforms, but for IMO, it is their most viewed video ever. So, you know, I think the quantitative kinds of outcomes and metrics are very worthwhile to mention, but yeah, Chad, great job. Love his headshot. Love the, the tagline overachieving, um, you know, 14 connections. You guys want to be starting school with one or 200 or 300 connections. Who do you know? Blast it out. 
anytime you meet somebody, send them a LinkedIn Connect. Um, this is because, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then if you, if you scroll back down to experience, uh, Colleen, um, so one thing that I would encourage other students to do as you're looking at your peers, as you're going through their LinkedIn pages and you're not sure what is Ultimate Gamer, what is International Maritime Organization? Well, click on those links, go to the go to the uh, company page, review the page, follow that page, try to connect with folks on that page, especially if they're into something that you have an interest in. So uh, Darissa, for example, uh, Chad has a few video editing gigs. So let's find out who those gigs were with and who they're connected to start viewing that organization and connecting with those folks as well. So all kinds of ways of leveraging LinkedIn. All kinds of ways. Excellent job, guys. Great job. We greatly appreciate it. And really, it's not about us. It's about you. So we're, we're glad that you're taking that next step in your life and becoming adults. Um, scholarships, we talked about that. FSAID, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You know how important it is, seniors. And we're going to do a big push next year regarding FSAID. You can do that now, or you can wait until October 1st. I would do it now before October 1st. So that way all you're focusing on come October 1st is your FAFSA application and then college applications. And I know that kind of, uh, that, that more so ties into our graduates. Uh, but as we've heard, many of our graduates have already applied and that's awesome news. Remaining workshops. Okay, wow, what a summer it has been. Um, <laughs> I don't remember any other summer like this. Not even the summer of 62, I forget the name of the song. Um, so remaining workshops, scholarships. We're talking scholarships tonight and also July 29th. That's it. Those are our last two opportunities, your last two opportunities to learn all things about scholarships. Financial aid and FAFSA. We're talking that tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be leading that conversation. I'd love to see your faces there, love it, all right? So you can click our incentives link. You know, Of course we have incentives, uh, so just make sure we'll drop that in the chat in just a second for you, but click that link. Make sure that you're uh, uh, following up on our incentives, all right? Let's move on to the next page. We're gonna get into, I'm joining both Thursdays. Thank you, Darissa. Can't wait to see you there. All right, so we have some giveaways that are happening in our county and we try to do all we can. And again, this is really for the, those of you who are uh, uh, entering your 12th grade year, if you're a junior, sophomore, whatever the case may be, even though this is the Graduate Success Network, we've noticed that quite a few of you are logging in <laughs> who haven't graduated, who are still in high school. That's cool. You gotta prepare for this at some point in time. So we have a few school backpack giveaways. This one's happening at 2253 Northwest 21st Avenue in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, you must wear a mask, but they're giving away, look, first registered re will receive uh, a loaded backpack. So everything you need for high school will be in this giveaway here. And it's a monster giveaway, all right? And you must register on Eventbrite. So you can literally just type in, uh, let's see, what is it? One touch of, I can't even read that. One touch sunshine. I, I should have written that down here. Uh, but 2021 school backpack giveaway, and you'll find it. Colleen, can you see what that says? I should have written that down. One it looks like touch a, a touch of sunshine or a touch of sunshine, yeah. a touch of sunshine. So uh, a nonprofit organization here in Broward County. All right. And that's happening on Saturday, August 14th. You're going to find a lot of these giveaways are all going to happen around the same time. OK. All right. Next up, another loaded giveaway. This is happening on Saturday, August 7th. Free admissions back to school. Uh, this is done by Riverside Church. This is in North Lauderdale. So for those of you that live uh, on the north side of Broward County, uh, they're calling this a pop-up palooza. So it's free admissions. Um, there's going to be some small business. Uh, there's going to be a small business XO, 100 vendors, free sample giveaways, kids and activities, fun and family, scavenger hunts. So make sure to check that out as well. They'll have some music and fun and everything else. And again, that's Saturday, August 7th, 12 to 6 p.m. The next one, Code Ninjas, Fort Lauderdale. So uh, let's look very carefully at this one. Uh, free 30-minute coding session. All right, this is super cool. They're giving away, or not giving away, but they're leading a free 30-minute coding session. The first 50 kids receive a free backpack, so you got to get there on time. August 7th, 2021, 1 to 4 p.m. You need to email the uh, email contact, the email address down below. I'll give you a chance to take a screenshot of that, take a picture, whatever you need, share it with some friends of yours. Again, these are backpack giveaways for everybody here. 
Okay, another three seconds, three, two, one. And the last backpack giveaway or drive that we're gonna talk about is very near and dear to me. This is my church, First Baptist Church, Piney Grove. As you can see, the little logo at the bottom left, uh, we're having a one-stop shop giveaway. Uh, they're giving away uniforms, socks, book bags, school supplies, diapers, right, for your little ones. I don't think y'all have little ones. Hair grooming, food, fun, school information. So there's going to be tons of schools there, universities. So it's kind of like an all-in-one, like they're calling it a one-stop giveaway. Um, if you want to speak to FMU, FAU, FIU, Broward College, they're all going to be there. That's right, Darissa, I go to Piney Grove. I've been a member there since I was two years old. Masks are required. Piney Grove is on Oakland Park, just west of 441. So this is happening Saturday, August 7th. Again, a lot happening in the next couple of weekends. We wanted to make sure to share this information with you in case you know somebody who could benefit or you yourself can benefit from this, all right? So those are our drives that we're promoting or at least spreading the word about. Let's move on to the next slide, shall we? Let's see how we're doing on time. We're doing great on time. All right, next up, B2L incentives. So we've talked about this quite a bit. Uh, but just to make sure that we don't have any other questions, so juniors and seniors who complete three out of the five different college going tasks, which you see at the bottom, between June 21st and through July 29th, will win 100 bucks. All right. And we know what those tasks are complete the FAFSA, complete a college. Some... Yes, Ricky. Um, when you, on your LinkedIn, do you put your phone number and address on there? So if you recall, I don't know if you were on with uh, Glenn Benjamin, uh, but Glenn did not, um, he spoke against that, for lack of better terms, putting your address on your LinkedIn page. Now, having a phone number is one thing, but putting your address, it's a, it becomes a little bit more personal. You definitely want to share your email address. If you have any social media accounts that, that are uh, professional social media accounts, you can put that on there as well, but avoid putting your home address on your LinkedIn page. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. And thank Ricky, you. also, if you do put your birthday, do not put the year. You know, we're right. just trying to avoid personally identifiable information um, that could be taken advantage of uh, by the ne'er do wills out there in the world. So, yeah. And, you know, if you have your email in there, people can get in touch with you as long as you're checking your email. So, I would put the email, but definitely not the address. And you don't really need your birthday in a LinkedIn profile. It's a professional platform. You wouldn't put your birthday on your resume, for example. Um, but if you do decide to put your birth year, birth month and day, do not put the year. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you for the question. And then number two, complete a college application. So if none of the, if the first two don't apply to you, and the first one probably should have said complete the FSID, but the first two don't apply to you, the, the, the last three probably will, complete at least five scholarship applications, all right? You guys can do that. Some of you have already done that. Number four, attend at least four different B2L weeknight workshops. I've seen a lot of your names in a lot of our workshops. Pretty sure you got that one. And then create a LinkedIn profile. We're giving you incentive just to create a LinkedIn profile to experiment with LinkedIn. So if you completed three of those five tasks, congratulations, you will, and it says will, win $100, okay? Uh, at the top of the page, you can scan our QR code. This is where you'll submit all the information uh, so we can verify that you've done three of those five tasks. So I'll give you an opportunity now to scan that with your phone or to take a snapshot of this screen and then you can scan it later, all right? So we'll give you another five seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Let's move on to the next screen. Okay, the screen's moving. Give us one sec, one sec. Okay, great. All right, so, and we've talked about this before, all ninth through 12th graders who complete at least one college going task between June 21st through July 29th will be eligible, keyword is eligible, to win one of $120 e-gift cards. I mean, we're trying our hardest to give money away, to put money in your hands. And then hopefully, based on what you've learned from Moni, Coach Mo, um, you'll use that money in the right way, right? Remember, pay yourself first. 
Um, if you've attended two workshops between July 12th through July 29th, you are eligible to receive two movie passes. This goes back to our AMC movie theater incentive, uh, which stems from the mods. We say we just want to give something away. And I know many of you want to go see the new Space Jam movie with the greatest basketball player of all time, LeBron James, or Black Widow. But if not, you can use those movie passes to see anything you want. Um, age appropriate, of course. Just wink, wink. I'll throw that out there. Uh, and then at the top right of the page, uh, make sure to scan that QR code for our $10 for 10 incentive. Uh, make sure to scan that if you've already met that or if you are getting close to meeting that goal. All right. Let's move on to our next slide. Some of this stuff you guys have already heard about. What's on deck? I want to spend a little bit of time on this slide here. And it's simple, but it's simple because we're not even close to this yet. We're getting fall, well, we are getting close. Fall semester is right around the corner, but I just want to focus on this and drive it home. Our equity ambassador program is still up and running and will be picking up and ramping up rather in the fall. If you are interested, we want you to join our Equity Ambassador Program. We have we have a few folks uh, from our Equity Ambassador Program with us, um, but I want to know if you're interested in all things regarding equity, racial equity, especially for your peers, amongst your peers. Uh, it's it's critical that we start the conversation at an early age, but not even just a conversation that we put action behind it. How are we going to fix this? What can we do? What can you do as peers? to uh, try to solve and fix, or at least explore some of these issues. So we want you to join, we want you to be a part of our Equity Ambassador Program. Social Media Ambassador Program. Guys, if you haven't, let's check out some of our posts on Instagram. When you have a chance, Colleen, uh, let's check out some of the posts on Instagram. All of these posts, for the most part, are coming from you, your, your peers. I know I can't create a post on Instagram. I've never posted anything on Instagram. Uh, but you guys are doing an amazing job. And we want to grow our social media ambassador program. This is one of the avenues that we know students use to communicate. And we want to do the best job we can of utilizing this tool, this avenue. So let's check out a few posts, a few reels. Colleen, you want to tell us which one we're looking at? So this is a post recapping the cryptocurrency town hall from back in May. What's the single most takeaway you want, you want students to leave with today? It, it branches off of what they both said. Currency is only one function of blockchain technology, much like email is only one function of the internet. There's so much more here, so take your time to learn about it. Did you know that people with bachelor's degrees actually earn $1 million more on average than those with only a high school diploma? Things like uh, Spotify facilitates people listening to music from artists and Uber facilitates people getting rides from nearby drivers. But these The first recorded like coin money or currency actually dates back as far as 700 BC back in Turkey. And right, thanks to Bridge for Life for putting this on. Uh, not based off of your GPA, scholarships, some, some are not even based off of your test scores, some are based off of just your effort. the essay be assessed. I know in the classroom you're used to having your grammar, your punctuation, your spelling picked apart. You have to read and learn where's the money coming from and who are these people that are going to be reading your essays. It's great if you can right away talk about your passion. Sometimes you have to rewrite a few times to get a good essay. Remember, with a little rust ease, luck, you too can look like me. Ka -cha. 
Okay, so there's one of Ricky's that I would like to play. Where is he? Well, let's hear from Ricky directly. Guys, it is almost over. We is our last adulting and financial literacy workshop. Last week, we learned special VP in credit management. We learned lots of more things, like how to take care of your money and then when you become a good and responsible adult. This information will help in your all aspects of life. So, sign up right here. And, Let's um, go, Ricky. I know, I know. I would love if if I have your permission, um, try and uh, let Ricky talk. I'm going to pull up um, Darissa's anime post and Monica's um, Jurassic Park post. They are unbelievable. Wait, wait till you see. So, Ricky, did you want to say something? Uh. The, um, about, um, the, um, the post, yeah, um, I, I love that you shared it to everybody. Um, I appreciate you, uh, everybody uh, loving it, and and um, and somebody um, screaming Ricky, um, praising me for my uh, good work, you know. <laughs> so. Ricky, yeah. Ricky, you deserve it. You did a great job on that. Let me ask you a question, Ricky. Was yes. was how many times have you posted something like that on Instagram where you're promoting a, a service, a program, a workshop, a product? I mean, was that your first time posting on Instagram in that way, recording yourself and posting, or do you have experience doing that? Um, like before I came to BTL, I I barely even post on my personal Instagram. So the only the like. And like the only time I anything was posted on Instagram in like a long time was from B2L. So, so as you can see, folks, we're we're doing our best to get students uh, to expand their minds, expand their attributes, and enhance their attributes. And it's working. It's working with Ricky. Ricky's doing something that he hadn't done before. But Ricky, you get all the credit. I know you you, you credited Rich to Life, but you get all the credit for taking that next step, taking the initiative to do it. And we encourage everybody else on the line to do the same thing. We encourage you guys to do the SSN, GSN, and our other workshops. Thank you so much, Ricky. Colleen, let's look at this next post. Crazy good, Darissa. That was amazing. Um, do you want to say something while I find Monica's Jurassic Park? Uh, and tell us a little bit. Say hello and tell us how you put that together. Hello, everyone. How I got the idea? Well, originally I was gonna do Fast, Fast and Furious Nine theme, but since everybody's more familiar with anime. That I decided to do that because who doesn't like anime? Anime is amazing. I really like anime, so that's why I decided to make this post. And I'm glad that you all liked it, which I figured was going to happen because anime is popular. Awesome. Thank you so much, Darissa. And uh, another example of somebody who is uh, stepping outside of their comfort zone and doing bigger and better things, and we couldn't be proud of you. By the way, it's stuff like this that keeps me and Colleen going, going, working late at night and over the weekend. And I mean, this is why we do the work, guys. So keep up the great work. Colleen, back to you. Last post we'll share for today. Um, the great and powerful Oz, that is Monica Julian. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I've got to reload it because this hung up on me the last time too. Hold on, sorry. It's worth the wait. It will make you laugh. Okay.
doesn't want to come to the FASTA workshop after watching that. Uh, Monica, do you want to say hello? Um, I'm not really sure, sure how um, my video came about, but it, while I was editing the idea of the commission, dated. Um, but thank you for sharing. No, it's fabulous. So um, we have a super, super talented group of um, youth and young adults, and we also provide training on tools. But I got to tell you, once basic training is provided and it's off to the races with all of you. I mean, you're super talented and creative and technically savvy. So um, if you're interested in more, you know, uh, let us know. We're happy to have you be a part. Back to you, Tron. Yep. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, awesome guys job. Seriously. Uh, this is why we do the work we do. We, we love to see your results and to see you continue to grow. Um, with that being said, if you're interested in joining our social media ambassador program, please let us know. Drop it in the chat if you're not a part of it already. We want to grow that thing as big as we can, make it as robust as we can, and across our school our school district. Our college fair in October. This is on deck for October. Get ready. So uh, those of you who have been to a college fair, you know what it's like. Uh, the big college fair at Nova Southeast University. We're not doing that this year. This is going to be virtual for the most part. Um, but we're going to have tons of colleges and universities. Some of your faves are going to be there. Here's why it's important to attend a college fair, especially the countywide college fair. This gives you an up close personal conversation or opportunity to converse with a college rep. It may be an admissions rep. It could be a dean. It could be a program manager. But you get to ask them questions one on one to make a decision. What I would what I would call one of the most important decisions of your life. Where are you going to earn your education, your degrees, your diploma, your certifications? That matters. Uh, it matters tremendously because if you're moving into a master's program afterward, you want to make sure that the school you attend is accredited and that it has a, you know, a valuable education. So make sure you sign up for our college fair. We're going to promote that as we near October, but I promise you, uh, Colleen and your school district, myself, we're all working uh, tediously on making sure this thing is beneficial for you. FAFSA completion plus incentives starting October 1st. I, you're going to hear about FAFSA all year long. Just get ready. Um, it's so important. You've heard Coach Mo talk about it. Billions of dollars are left on the table because students simply don't take the time to complete their FAFSA application. When I tell you billions, I literally mean billions of dollars. Thank you uh, for muting that. Billions of dollars are on the table. We don't want that to happen. All right. A lot of students here in Broward County are eligible for the Pell Grant. They don't receive it because they don't fill out the FAFSA. And as we've talked about, it, the Pell Grant is free money. It's the government giving you money to go to school and you don't have to pay it back, provided you pass all your classes. So we're going to push that like crazy. Um, and yes, we will in include some incentives. What are those incentives? Aha, we're going to tell you in October. Jarissa, I'm so glad you mentioned anime. Colleen and I had a conversation earlier this week or last week, and we said, wait a minute, here we go yet again. Students are telling us what they want. Well, let's listen to them. So we're listening. We will work on an anime conference and we're probably going to need some help. We're probably going to need you guys to provide us with some popular anime series, maybe some writers, some authors, etc. So we're going to need some help putting this thing together. But we promise you the same way we put together the YouTuber conference. We're going to do the same thing for the anime conference, at least at the same level. Right. Uh, so get ready for that on deck next year. We're, of course, going to do our YouTube conference for those of you who are aspiring digital uh, content creators. If you're in the industry or interested in digital fluency, we have the YouTuber conference. This is going to be our one of our annual conferences, so get ready. We're doing that again next year. And then special incentives for graduated seniors. And again, I know we have a lot of students who are currently in school, but when you graduate, we want to give you an incentive, right? We want to focus on you. This is technically the graduate success network. But again, if anybody shows up, we're going to work with you. We do have some special incentives planned for our graduate seniors. Plus, there's just so much more. I can't even talk. It would take me hours to talk about everything that we have planned for you. So word of advice, you're a member now. You're signed up. You're coming to our workshops. You're coming to our SSNs. Keep going. Keep coming. Keep attending. We promise we have so much more planned for you. All right? That's what's on deck. Let's move over to our next slide. 
Uh, so we hope to see you guys soon. We want to hear from you. So I'm just going to pause for a second. You guys know our SSN dates. You know our GSN dates. So I'm going to pause for a second before we wrap up and just ask, is there any questions? Does anyone have anything to share? Anything that you think we should focus on next year? We always want to hear from you. So I'll pause and give you an opportunity to, to tell us, give you a chance to tell us. What should we focus on? What do you want to share? What do you have? We're, we're listening. Our ears are open. Our ears are open. Anybody? Anyone? Okay. I have an idea that just came to me right now. Go so um, I don't know if everyone's familiar with um, the Posse Scholarship. I went through the process. I didn't receive it, sadly, but I do think it's an amazing opportunity. And so um, I know you have to be nominated by your teacher, but maybe if there was a way to have um, someone who received the Posse Scholarship, like come and talk about that and how to go through that process. And I'm not sure if Bridge to, Bridge to Life could nominate people. Like, I think they would have to talk to the foundation themselves, but I think you would be a really great, um, like, entity to nominate people. So I'm going to look into that further and get back to you. But I just think the Posse Scholarship is amazing. And so is QuestBridge. So any opportunity to share that with students. And there's a lot of really talented, motivated students here who would do amazing with those scholarship opportunities. So just something to think about. So, so thank you for bringing that up. Can you do me a favor, Haley? Could you ex expound just for a second or two on the benefits of the Posse Scholarship? Um, we've, of course, we've heard of the Posse Foundation, but can you just give us a little bit more detail on the benefits of the Posse Scholarship? Yeah, I would love to. So um, the Posse Scholarship is situated in certain cities in the US and we actually have one in Miami that is open to Broward as well. And so students are nominated for um, having leadership qualities. And so that doesn't necessarily mean that you always speak up and you direct people what to do. Like maybe that means that you're a really good listener and you make sure that everyone in the group is getting what they want out of a project or whatever you're doing as a team. And so it really just looks at students who conventionally may not receive scholarships um, for academics. It's not academic based at all. Of course, that's like a cherry on top if you do well in school but it's really based on who you are as a student. And so um, you go through this very long process and it's, um, it's a great process connecting with all the people um, like who are also going through the scholarship process. And at the end, 10 students are selected to attend one of these smaller, typically liberal art colleges. So one of the schools that you could possibly attend from Posse Miami is Syracuse University in New York. And there's also Pomona College in California. And so you would receive full tuition to go to these schools. You would still have to figure out room and board. But in the grand scheme of things, full tuition is amazing, especially to go to these schools that are typically very, very expensive for students to go out of state for. So you will be with nine other students and you will be learning how to develop even better leadership opportunities. You're going to have a network of other Posse Scholars for your entire life. And it's just really, really cool. I love to talk about it. I made it to the final round and just didn't get it, but it was really amazing. I will drop the website right now. They have a little video. So if you are interested in this, you can watch that and learn more. Haley, thank you so much for sharing with your peers, sharing with us. Uh, guys, you heard it, full tuition. Now you have to cover your room and board, which is fine because we're pushing scholarships and we're doing the best we can to encourage you to apply for scholarships. So if you have 20,000, 30,000 and other scholarships, plus the Posse Scholarship, well, then that means your school is paid for. You have nothing to worry about in terms of expenses, and you can put all that extra money in your pocket, in your bank account. And then going back to what Coach Mo said, invest in yourself first. No need to go out and buy all the expensive stuff. You can buy that stuff later. So Haley put the uh, link in the chat. Please, everyone, click on that link. If you need help, we are here. Uh, we have Shedley Cassius. We have other folks that are here to assist. And uh, for seniors, ask your guidance counselor about it if you want to be nominated. So contact your guidance counselor. And this ties into dual enrollment for our, our students that are moving into next year. And I've talked about it so much. Make sure you go to your guidance counselor for dual enrollment as well. Just want to throw that out there. And yes, thank you, Haley. Thank you so much. You are a leader and a supporter. And I mean, you, you just you stand out amongst your peers in terms of somebody who is always one to motivate others and encourage others. Thank you for all you do, Haley. And thank you to all of our students on the line. I and mean, all of you are leaders in your respective areas and your change agents. 
in your respective areas. And we appreciate that. We want to do all we can for you. And I'm telling you, next year, B2L is ramping up. You don't even, I don't even feel it yet, but we have so much planned. And I think we did a major leap this year in terms of focusing on you, the students, giving you a voice, giving you projects, putting money in your hands. We just want to take that to the next level, right? We, we want to pump ourselves full of steroids and just blow this thing up to the next level. All right, we're not going to pump ourselves full of steroids. That's not going to happen. But we want to take this to the next level. So we will with your help. Um, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much. Colleen, anything else before we wrap up? I think we have a small enough group that we should just do a round robin with uh, something. I, I don't know whether, it, you know, we don't want to do the key takeaway, but maybe just, I mean, what, what should we ask? You know, every everyone who's here today, think of what? One word to cap off your summer, one word for what you're looking forward to in the fall. Um, how would you describe your feeling at the moment? What should we, let's just wrap up with a round robin real quick, but I'm going to leave it to you to think of a creative question or Haley or Chad or anybody. What, what's the question that we should end with? I have a question. I have yep. a question. Jen, so you have a question? I saw you looking into the, your creative space direction. Like, let me see, can I grab something here? I have a question. How can we motivate others to join Bridge to Life? Yep, I'm, I'm going to bring it into Bridge to Life. How can we motivate more of your peers? How can we bring more of your peers to Bridge to Life? Because I was going to say, how can we get more of your peers to, to apply for scholarships and all that other stuff? But we're talking about all of that here in Bridge to Life. How can we bring others? And we know in the fall we're going to see a spike in numbers. Kids will be back in the classroom. But I want to go one by one. And I want you guys to give us one word or a few words. Yes, Colleen. I actually vote for Chad's question instead. I'm sorry. Take a look. Chad, let's go. Chad, with Chad said, go with um, what, 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 what has changed from the beginning of the summer to now, right? And hopefully B2L is a little bit of a, you know, a part of that. Maybe, maybe not, right? But, you know, that might be really cool because, you know, we're, what, how did you spend your summer? Where did you go? What's different? What's changed? So, Chad... If you're okay with this, Tron, Chad, yeah, yeah. Since you suggested it. You go first. Chad, over to you. Okay, I'm sorry. I look like uh, just, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I actually, because it's just like so much has changed for me over the summer. So I was just kind of interested uh, um, to hear everybody else's. Um, so starting with me. I think a lot has changed, honestly. Uh, I'm like, so like, like, hold on a second. What the... Okay, so I think so much has changed for me um, since the beginning of the summer because, wow, like, especially with B2L and just the connections that I've gotten, um, it's been a lot. Like, I never thought that you know, during the summer, I'd be making a video that gets over 40,000 views and doing things for different companies and, you know, and even stuff that wasn't um, necessarily involved in B2L. Like I had so much fun with like my band camps and uh, going to FMU, Florida Memorial University last week and going to their band camp, you know, uh, getting you know making new friends meeting new meeting new people meeting new boys meeting new girls you know all that it's just been so it's just definitely it's just definitely been a change I think that I feel definitely different I feel like I'm doing more I feel more like an adult although I'm definitely not an adult yet but I feel more like geared towards like okay like I have, I'm, try, I'm juggling all this. I have to organize my time better if I want to make sure that I'm able to do the things that I strive to do. So I definitely feel like um, in a way my maturity um, and who I am, I've just, you know, elevated, evolved. Yeah. Beautiful. That's awesome. Now, everyone that speaks, you have to pick the next person that's going to share. So you turn it over to whoever you'd like. Okay, I'll pick Monica. Uh, 
Um, I was still thinking of how to word it because it's also a lot for me, but mostly my bank account has changed. I'm not going to lie. Um, the workshops have helped me a lot when it came to saving and deciding when to spend money. And you know, I've been making smarter decisions with that, mostly since I'm going to be a freshman in one month. But um, the internship has also helped me improve my skills and editing and a lot. And I choose Darissa. Hello, everyone. I have to agree with Monica, but only difference is I wasn't even thinking about the money. I know this is an internship and you're basically working, but I also focus on, you know, working on Canva. I've gotten so much better at Canva than I was before video editing in general, playing with the effects and all that. I actually, I actually like it a lot over the, over the summer. I actually like this. I pick Ricky. Uh, so, so what I got, um, like the, the biggest thing, what I got, especially from the internship, is because I really wasn't sure because I, I was like contemplating because I put on one of our assignments that because I was interested in being a public relations specialist. That's why I put because that's one of the jobs that I saw. But I really wasn't sure because I wasn't sure what job I really wanted or what degree I really wanted or this and that. But throughout this um, internship, I kept hearing um, my, my coworkers, as you call them, and my advisors um, telling me how good I speak and, and how, like, um, how better the post, my post is when I actually speak in front of the camera. So that made me get more confidence of what I wanted to do later after high school because, because they're, they're encouraging me that I actually to speak very well or speak with excitement or that make people like more excited about the post. So that's a big thing that um that I got from it. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know who's who's else in here. Well, I mean, I think we should uh, talk to our good friend and wonderful supporter, Haley. I, I don't know if she's not been, um, chosen yet. Haley, could we call on you next? Yeah, sure. I have been trying to think super duper hard and I don't have anything as impressive as everyone else. Um, I kind of took the summer to relax in ways and then also kind of fully throw myself into college. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was 17 at the beginning of summer and now I'm 18. So that's one thing that's changed. And um, yeah, on another note of things, I don't have any things that changed. I do yoga more. That's really cool. I like that. Um, but I will save what I'm saying right now by saying that I do um, what Tron was trying to talk about or what his question originally was. And so I would say maybe trying to connect with teachers, like connecting with teachers to show them the value of Bridge to Life. And then therefore, therefore they can talk to like numerous students every single day about all the benefits and opportunities so I don't know, um, but I think teachers are a good place to start because they, they want this for their students and they have access to so many students every day. So <laughs> maybe, oh, and then I will pass it off to Alexa. I think, I think Alexa has to chat her, her response, if I'm not mistaken. So Alexa, while you're chatting, Haley, would you mind selecting someone else? For sure. I don't think Emily has gone. Emily, are you able to unmute? If not, we may have to wait on Emily's chat as well. So why well, how, don't we go this? with how, Samaya? How this? Oh. Yeah, how about this? Um, turn on your camera so we can see that you're there, right? Oh, no, Alexa's there. 
I'm very grateful. The workshops made me a better person. How sweet, Alexa. Um, I'm just, I feel like we're not sure you're there without the webcams on. Um, so Mia, Aiden, and Jency have not gone. We know Jency. Jency, why don't you go next? Yeah, um, the workshops and the um, essays and the um, talking about bank account tech has changed me um, of how to save my money and how to um, how to write my essay because I was super bad to be honest. And now I got a new idea of how to write my essay and my essay have become more creative. It helped me a lot. I'm very glad that I joined this, um, this part of family. I feel like I'm in the family right now. Yay, Jency, and your cryptocurrency video was awesome. Um, so no, thank you, thank you. All right, we've got like four minutes left. Uh, uh, Sumia, Aiden, would you like to share? And then Chad has a, well, I don't know. Like, can you ch look at Chad's question and respond to his question in the chat? And then we'll give the floor to Sumia and Aiden uh, for the final word. Sumia, are you ready? Thank you, Jency. Yes, so um, before the B2L thing, um, I was not really sure about what, what I needed to do for college. So like it helped me apply for scholarship and helped me develop what, my writing skills, especially my financial skills right now. So it, I learned how to budget and how to write a good scholarship essay and college essay. Um, but, well, I, during the summer of 2020, my summer was pretty boring. I didn't know what to do. So yeah, um, B2L gave me a program and something to do during the summer to not stay bored all the time. That's fabulous. What wonderful news. Thank you so much. And so good to hear, Samia. Aiden, last, last word. Aiden, are you there? Okay, I think we are we are done. And uh, Emily says she's on a mobile device. Did anybody answer Chad's question in the chat? How many of y'all have done something this summer you had no idea you would do? I think I could read between the lines on on that one. Darissa agrees with Sumia. This is great. And Emily, great chat. Thank you very much. Um, Chad, I'm going to turn it over to you. We're at 3.58 p.m. and we can wrap up on time. It's going to be fast. All fun. right, let's, let's wrap up, guys. So just, uh, just really quick, thank you to everyone uh, for all that you've done. We have fall programming coming up. Next year is right around the corner. Stay with us. Get involved. We have more incentives. We've talked about it all day. You guys know what's up. Thank you, students, for your involvement, your continued involvement. Anything that we can do for you, please let us know. Other than that, enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you tonight for scholarships. We'll see you tomorrow night for more FAFSA financial aid stuff. So make sure to tune in. Have a great night. Enjoy. Thank you, you too.